Hi guys, Birmingham Rep. You've just seen a musical. What was the name of the musical? Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> Tommy the musical. Uh, can you just give us your names, please? My name is Abid. And I'm Lou Toyin. What did you think? This was press night. Did you enjoy it? Brilliant. Yeah. I thought it was amazing. Fantastic. Did you, th there was a lot of sign language. Was did you? How did you find that? Did that detract from the performance, or was it like as if it didn't even exist? From my perspective, everything kind of blended, blended together. Yeah. So I think it's just uh, the way you tell a story in a very different way that makes it accessible Definitely. to everybody. Definitely. And it just kind of flowed. It didn't feel like you were watching one do something. It just integrated really well together. And I think I thought the audience got it. And to be honest, I think the sign language sometimes showed a lot more emotion. Yes. And you kind of captured the... Uh, connection between the characters and the and the essence of what was actually going on. Can you guys do sign language? I can do a little bit. Yeah. I've gone into trouble when I've done it in the past, so I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> Do you, do you, I mean, it's funny because I've just watched it and it's, I've come out thinking, you know what, I need to learn sign language. Do, do you think that's the kind of effect it would have on people who's gone and watched it? Um, I think it would be mixed. I think those that want to learn it will learn it anyway. But what I thought was just what people have to remember is another type of language. Just like if you're speaking, you're a bath for me, as you're Nigerian, or the Dwatri, or Urdu. It's just another form of language, just along with English. But I think what the play does tell you is that actually you need to think differently about actually how you interact with people. And actually some people face barriers because we choose not to engage in a different way of communication. So if you are a sign language user, uh, how do we kind of um, make more of an effort to kind of connect on a different level? Definitely. And what I loved about it was that you didn't have sign language interpreters on a separate day. They were integral to the part as actors themselves. Which was which just was fantastic, amazing. wasn't it? You know, it's part so of the creative process. Yeah, it was like, and, it was uh, amazing. And for me, I think what it does is uh, it makes the performance for everybody yes. rather than kind of saying if you need a BSL interpreter, we need to look to the As side of the stage. Um, Do you think we need more theatre like this? Definitely. Yeah. And I, what I loved was the fact the audience were open and they just got it. And it was just, at the end of the day, it is all about the writing, it's all about the contest. If it works, the audiences are much more sophisticated than we give credit to. So I feel like they definitely got it. Anyone who hasn't seen the performance yet, what would you say? Definitely see if you like The Who. And if you remember the film, I remember because my dad was into that type of movie. I've yes. not seen the movie, I've not followed the Who and I loved it. And you loved it. That's great. Thank you guys. Call our pleasure. Thank you.